What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this. A rustic wood backdrop. To start this project, you're gonna need 15 one by six by eight foot wood panels and six one by four by eight foot wood panels. Putting the 15 wood panels together gave me a measurement of about 85 inches and that is the measurement I will be using to cut for the side panels. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take our one by four and measure out 85 inches right about here. Okay, we're gonna square it off and cut it right off. Honestly guys, next, go ahead and use that same board you just cut and use that exact same measurement, right? Align it really well and use that same one to get the exact measurement there cut that off and do that to all of them all right guys so after cutting your one by fours i want you to go ahead and lay one down like this we're going to go ahead and run some wood glue right through here on the edge up here and then we're going to take another one of your one by fours and we're going to run it right at the edge right about there and then we're going to use our nail gun to go ahead and get that into place we will be using our clamps to hold the wood in place so it's uh, secure and we can nail it together. All right, let's apply our wood glue. Flip it around and start nailing it. There it is guys, came out super flush. All the way down, looks great. Now let's move on to the next part. All right guys, next I want you to take your one by six, place it right on there and I want you to mark right about there and this will indicate where your next one by four will go right on there okay let's do that don't worry about cutting any of this because as soon as you put it on there you're gonna have some room here left that you'll see what we're gonna do with that that's actually gonna be extra support go ahead and add your glue right across here right where the markings at go all the way down guys all right, after the glue, go ahead and line up your next one by four right at the line, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and use our clamp once again to get it nice and tight. Perfect, let's nail it. For the center guys, take one of these extra pieces that we cut off earlier, pop it right in there, just to make sure we're nice and thick, right? And then use that to kind of keep it into place and then nail right, right underneath there, okay? I wanna give you a visual. I want you to imagine this is gonna be the front of your board Right? Your panels are going to be sliding here. This is what your, your customers will see. And then back here, the reason why I love this, some people cut this off, I don't know why. You can put hooks right in here where you can tie your banners, you can tie balloons. Sometimes, you know, we use balloons and we need somewhere to tie. Well, guess what? You can add hooks right onto there and it'll go right up. All right guys, so there it is. For the base, what I want you to do is I want you to take that remaining piece that we cut off earlier from the, the, the one by four. We're gonna pop that and use it in the base right about there. Okay, we'll, we'll nail that right onto here. And then this will be nailed, or I think my, I might even use screws for your to the base. Okay, let me show you what I mean by that. After I stapled it on, I did add some long screws 
in the base to really hold all that weight, guys. Make sure you do get some screws in there to hold the weight. There you have it, guys. There's the first base. Looks so great. Wood is just gonna slide right in there like pancakes. <laughs> For the base, I'm gonna use this extra scrap of board that I had from a while back on another project you might have seen on my page. I love this because it's super thick. It's not crazy heavy, but it will give us the nice width we need for the bottom so we can have good stability. All right, guys, so for my baseboard, I have it measured at one foot by two foot, okay? You guys can make it however long you want, however short you want, just keep in mind that we have a lot of weight on this, okay? And we wanna make sure that safety is our number one priority and that this whole wood display won't fall on someone's head, okay? So make sure you get, leave yourself nice and long, you know, room to put, you know, brakes, weight, whatever it is that you use to hold it down. I left about five inches at the front. That's okay. Once we get this painted, it's gonna look beautiful. The screws that I'm gonna use to hold this down I don't know the exact length. I just have these around the house. This is what I'm gonna use. They don't need to be too thick, but make sure you use some really good screws. Nice, let's get the rest. There it is guys, as you can see, this thing's not going anywhere. Looks so great. Once again, when you guys get your boards in there, you won't see this back here, okay? This is for backstage. <laughs> Go ahead and repeat the same process for the other side. Just keep in mind, you're gonna be doing the opposite direction, okay? I did decide to add extra screws right onto here to hold down the two boards, just to give me that extra strong support. The nails are great, but I think with those screws, it really just makes it even sturdy. Also, I added at the bottom here, a two by four and I cut it right into place. And this thing is not moving anywhere, guys. Once again, we're on the opposite side now. We're gonna put the glue on this side now. Next, take your one by six and measure it to the preferred length you wish and cut it. And again, use that same board to mark to get your exact measurement. Look at that, guys. So it looks so great. The wood just locks right in there, guys. Let's put everything else together, but look at that. There it is, guys. It's coming out amazing. Setup is great. Look how stable it is. And it's super tall. And it's just such an impact wall, man. It looks so great. A lot of stability when you have a flat ground and I haven't even added the weights. All right, guys, so I kind of want to give you an idea of how big and tall this wall really is. I'm about 5'9", and look at this thing, guys. Look at my little guy right here. Give me five. Woo! Great, 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 guys. And we're not even finished. Now, once you get it together, you're gonna notice that towards the top, it kind of moves a little bit. I want to show you what we did to fix that. In order to keep our boards from opening up at the top, I bought these hook, hook and eyes, and we're gonna go ahead and attach that to here and here, and that'll help us keep this board right here as close as we can to this side here, making it nice and tight, and it won't be opening up on you guys. There it is, guys, and that'll prevent this from opening up. And then when you're ready to dismantle, just open it up, and then you'll be able to take your boards out. 
I'm also gonna go ahead and add these screw eyes, possibly one up here and a couple down the line here. As you guys already know, tying things down onto these walls are very important for us. There you have it guys, hooks right up in there, right down the line guys, right down the line. Now we can tie anything we want right up in there. Did the same for the other side. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get painting. All right, guys, so for the staining, I'm not an expert in staining wood at all. Uh, I've seen people use all kinds of materials, maybe towels, etc., etc. I found that when I use these little guys, I waste a lot less staining paint or whatever. And I put literally and apply just enough to what I need. So, and it, and it dries a lot quicker, guys. So it's up to you guys. I love using these guys here. They're only like a dollar, two dollars at Home Depot, and they've worked wonders for me. Let's get started. All right, let's get the backdrop together. We got our latches in there. This thing's not going anywhere on the top. We got our hooks, right? Once again, we got our hooks. I got them all numbered so it's easy to fit into place. You know, there's some cracks here and there and I adjusted it so that you don't see, you know, minimal cracks in between each wood panel. And then we have our safety weights, okay? Wonderful, look at that. What do you say we decorate it? There it is, guys. I hope you loved this video. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe. And I do want to take this time to thank all of you guys for giving me so much of your support. Thank you once again. Like and subscribe for more videos.